Hey guys, John Angle here. Today we're going to do an oil change on this Bentley Continental GT. What's in store? Who knows? Have I ever done one before? Hell no! But we're going to find out what it takes. So, I've been trying to prepare for this and make sure I've got everything needed. I've got three of the big jugs of Mobile One Zero W40. I've got my man filter. I've got a 36 millimeter socket for the oil filter reservoir holder thing. I've got rubber gloves, I've got a drain pan, I've got jack stands, I've got a jack. Everything that we need, I hope that I have. So let's start with some of the things that you might not know you need to do on a Bentley to do an oil change. So before we can actually do anything with the oil change, we need to put the Bentley into jack mode and this will allow us to jack the car up without hurting any of the suspension. So you have to hold these two buttons down. It's got the one with the car height and the one with the spring. You hold these down for about 10 seconds. So blah, 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 blah. All right, there we go. And now you can see in the dash there, right there, we have it in jack mode. Don't mind the tire pressure gauge is because I have aftermarket wheels on here. Time to pop the hood. Let's see what's underneath. Pull the little B up and there we go. So, as you can see, it's your standard W12 engine. It's a twin turbo. I couldn't even tell you all the specs on it. I will say that she is a fat girl, but she picks up speed well. So, let's get to our oil change. So, I found the factory jack locations and I've got it set up. And now it's time to give her a little lift to see how she does. I've got to tell you, no matter how many times I've done an oil change, doing one on this still makes me nervous. I found the jack location, which is easy, but then trying to find somewhere to put the jack stand, not so easy. So I just kind of rigged it up where I'm going to keep the jack stand on, uh, or the jack on, and I'm going to use a jack stand as well. So I've got this against the frame up there, I've got this on the jacking point, and I'm going to see if I can do this with just using one side up. I think that we have enough clearance. Now I've got to use a T25 torque bit to take off about a thousand little bolts that hold that under tray on. So next time you see me, I'll probably be under the car. Now that might be a T30. So there's some T20s and looks like some T30s. Good God, can they add more things under here? Alrighty, I'll take those off. Underneath the car, I've taken off most of the torque bit screws. I've got some inside the fender here. There's two on each side. And if you can come in here, I don't know if you can actually see it. It's a good thing I have this baby screwdriver. And it's going to allow me to take these off. Hey, Bentley, if you're listening, if you ever design anything again, just have it slip into a slot here where you can just pull it straight out. We're on to a flathead screw that holds this back piece on. I've got to tell you, Bentley, I know that you don't want individuals working on these on their own and just doing their own thing, but couldn't we just pick one thing, stick with it, and make this easy? No, because I drive a Bentley. I'm so fancy. Ooh, look at me and all my torque bits and new nuts. I'm so well. I think that says it all. I've taken out a thousand torque bits, three screw bits. I have no idea what I'm even doing. But now this should all kind of pop out and fall down. And it does on me. Getting that back up is going to be a pain in the royal ass. But it's down and I don't know if you guys can see this. Here's where my oil comes out of. So I'm pretty happy about that. And here's where my filter goes. Ta-da! As I'm going down on my Bentley, and yes, I meant it like I said it, 
I noticed that it's got the front sensors. I just want to go ahead and tell you guys that these things suck. Every time I get close to anything, go to an ATM or pull out of my garage, it lets me know that I shouldn't be that close. I've got to tell you, if you have that much trouble driving a car, maybe you should wait for the autonomous vehicle to come out or get a chauffeur. This should not be on cars. For people that are strong, you don't need a breaker bar. For people that are weak like me, it really helps. And now that we've got broken, should be able to get this off. Because you don't want 13 some liters of fluid pouring out on you. And I've left the t-shirt so far away, and now I'm all dirty. Final steps is to use this behemoth, which is a 36 millimeter socket, on this, which is the housing for the oil filter. So basically, I'm going to put this somehow on here. There we go. Start loosening it up. thing I don't want is for the whole casing to fall into this oil pan and get me soaked. And of course more oil. Oh, and it hits this bolt in the back. That's just freaking great. There she is. All right, so we've got the old filter inside of the housing and it's time to kind of pry that out. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, that's beautiful. So this is how it actually seats into the bottom and holds that in. I'm gonna put this into here, hold that in. This goes now on top of all of this. Whoop oil everywhere and there we go so now she is in the last thing that we have to do is I'm going to oil this down and replace the o-ring with a new o-ring so it's been a good day everything underneath has been bunned up put back together the tray that goes underneath actually wasn't as big of a pain in the ass as I had expected but now it's time to fill this up with 13 point some liters of fluid and you can see that I went ahead and kind of covered around where the oil goes in. We're going to use Mobile One Zero W40 European formula, and I'm going to try not to spill it all over the place, which I'm guessing I'm going to do. Oh, look at that. Now we know why they call that the money shot. Okay, final thing that we have to do before we can button everything up is to reset the service indicator on this Bentley. To do so, we have the key already in the ignition, but we have not turned it to on, not start. Then we're going to hold down the trip button here. We are going to turn it to on. And you can see on the display, it says service reset. Now I will press the okay button and we are done. Well, that about wraps it up. The Bentley now has our oil in her. She's ready to go. The one thing that I do want to make sure that we talk about, items that you need if you're going to do your own oil change for a Bentley. You need a 36 millimeter socket to take off the oil filter cap. You will need T25 and T30 Torx bits to make sure that you can get the windage tray off. Other than that, all the other tools are pretty standard. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please hit like for the video, subscribe to my channel, drop me some comments. See you next time.